Protecting you starts with protecting the people who keep you safe. It's top of mind after the mass shooting at the Garlic Festival in California. And certainly we have so many of our own stories in this state that are uppermost in our minds always. WPTV News Channel 5's Alana Quillen shows you how Tequesta police are preparing for the worst. The kite shop sits on a busy stretch of US-1 in Tequesta. We kind of think we're protected here, but we're still attached to the main roads. Which is why shop owner and village resident Jeremy Green is happy to hear that his police department is investing in safety. Well, I think they're doing a great job here in Tequesta. Um, keeping everything nice and safe. Village Council just gave the green light to set aside money for the police department to buy $52,000 worth of new equipment for their officers. The one thing that always drives me is when you hear when something tragic happens, I never thought it would happen here. Chief Gus Medina is ordering ballistic armor for all 20 officers in case of an active shooter. You never know when it's going to happen, but you hope that your officers are prepared. He's also getting a new thermal imaging drone similar to this one. If there's a kid missing, or an Alzheimer's patient is out in an area where we can't get there by foot, we'll be able to put the drone up. CSI equipment, including smart water to deter burglars. We have 100 kids, and we're going to give out to community members throughout the village. And what happens is they'll be able to code 60 to 80 items within their household. And new taser equipment to replace their expired models. About 30 grand is covered by the village's general fund. Criminal seizure money will cover the rest. I bring that mindset that anything could happen anywhere at any time. So we must be prepared as officers and as a community. The police chief told me he expects all of this equipment in their mailbox in the coming weeks, ready to be rolled out by the end of August. In Tequesta, Alana Quillen, WPTV News Channel 5.